Welcome to Tiny Tours. I'm Shirley Coleman, a docent at the Meadows Museum, and today we will take a look at St. John the Baptist, a polychrome sculpture by the Spanish artist Juan Martinez Montañez. Montañez was born in 1568 in the town of Alcala La Real near Seville. He began his training under Pablo de Rojas in Granada and completed his training in Seville where most of his works are found. Montañez spent seven months in Madrid modeling a portrait of King Philip IV, which was to be used by the Italian sculptor Pietro Tacca for his equestrian statue of the king. That statue can be seen today in Madrid's Plaza del Oriente. During Montañez's stay in Madrid, Diego Velázquez painted a portrait of Montañez that depicted him while sculpting the head of King Philip. Known as El Dios de la Madera, the God of Wood, he influenced many artists, including Alonso Cano, Juan de Mesa, and his own son, Alonso Montañez. One of the greatest Spanish sculptors of the 17th century, Montañez's natural style included elements of classical and mannerist art. Today, his style would be classified as Baroque realism. Montañez died in the Great Plague of Seville in 1649. He was 81 years old. St. John the Baptist is a polychrome wood sculpture dating from 1630 to 1635. It is approximately four feet high and three feet across at the base. It sits on a white display case which elevates it to eye level. The statue began as a wood form glued and nailed together, usually having a hollow core. The extremities were carved separately and then attached to the body. The face was made like a mask and attached to the head. The eyes were usually glass. The wood sculpture was covered in many layers of gesso, a type of plaster. Then a layer of red clay was applied before being painted with egg tempera. The surface was smooth and polished with agate. This sculpture was finished on all sides and was probably the central image of a large altarpiece. It has strong supports at the base so it could be removed on special feast days and carried in a procession. The work depicts a young St. John seated on a rock wall with a lamb on his left side. The lamb may represent the Lamb of God, whose coming was foretold by an older St. John. He is relaxed with legs bent at the knees and slightly apart. His right arm is bent at the elbow, and he seems to be reaching for the lamb. His left hand is resting on the back of the lamb. The lamb's coat is covered with small, tight curls, and his front legs are resting on the boy's lap. They are looking at each other with an expression that is peaceful and serene. There seems to be a feeling of love exchanged between the two figures. The colors are a range of cream and soft earth tones. John's face is smooth and unlined. His hair is shoulder length and falls in curls. His coarse tunic is frayed round the edges. His legs and feet are bare. This youthful rendering of St. John represents a quiet moment in the life of the prophet. Perhaps he is contemplating his destiny. How does three-dimensional art change your experience? What are some of the advantages? Thank you for listening. Please plan to join us for more Meadows Museum's Tiny Tours.